Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Square Off TV Late Night Uncensored. I'm Billy Niz, coming to you live from Southie Mass, where we kick some ass. What's going on, everybody? I just wanted to, uh, you know, show people that uh, I'm not playing games with these motherfuckers, bro. Like, it's going, I got, uh... Two of these mics, real motherfucking deal, holy fail, no bullshit. I got two lapel mics, homie. Look at this shit. This ain't no fucking game, homie. All that bullshit. See? For the for people I interview. And I'm only interviewing real ones. No rats, no skinners, no bitches, no hoe-ass motherfuckers either, boy. It's going down. We got some shit to talk about. No bullshit. Uh, I'm just getting... Uh, thanks to my uh, fiancé, baby's mama, mama. Um, got me this mic. I got a, um, another one, and um, damn dog, it's muggy. Uh, how's everybody doing, huh? Donald Trump's getting raided and shit, boy. Rappers are dying. I'm going to be on my conspiracy shit tonight. Um, if anybody remembers, is I don't know if Q, remember Q for Donald Trump that was dropping jewels on the internet and shit? He, they always said what we'd be seeing, it's a movie. It's already happened. That's what Trump said. It already, it, it, whatever we see on, I don't watch TV. To be honest with you, I really don't. Um, unless there's like hockey or a sp fights, whatever, you know. Um, he said it's a movie. Basically, whatever, whatever's on the TV for news, whatever the fuck they think they call news, already happened. And they also lie to us too. They always show us sad shit. Car crashes, kids dying, rapes, kidnapping, human trafficking, you skinners, you bitches. I dare one of you motherfuckers to pull that shit around here. I would love get a skinner in a fucking cellar. And get medieval on his ass. Or hers. Chop their fucking toes off or something. Anyways. Leon Edwards. Is the. New. UFC welterweight champion of the world. Round five. One minute left. Head kick. To the fucking head. <laughs> head kick to the head. Kamaru Usman got laid the fuck out. You just got knocked the fuck out. It was perfectly timed. Per uh, just Leon's technique is unfucking real. And I got breaking news for you. I already dropped it because you know I'm the first one. In the world and on the internet, and this is a fact. Uh, go go to um Jesse on Fire. He's one of the leading MMA uh, YouTubers right now. St took some of my content, but whatever. I forgive him. I was on his live, and I was the first one to announce John Jones is going up against Stipe Miocic for the interim UFC heavyweight championship of the world. Now, 
I'm going to get into the business part, contracts and stuff like that, okay? Um, Francis, and, dude, Fra Francis Ngannou is in one of the most unique situations there's ever been in UFC history for a fighter. And what I mean by that is um, he had one fight left on his contract, after he knocked out Stipe for the heavyweight title, um, which I, side note, I, which I think Stipe deserved a fucking rematch. He is the best heavyweight champion in UFC history. I think John Jones is going to be too much for him, though. I'm, I'm sorry. I love Stipe, but... Uh, I just think John Jones is he's he's the he's the goat. I'm sorry. Him and Connor are just uh different. And speaking of Connor McGregor, I dropped news. My one of my sources, I do have sources, believe it or not, just because I'm in the streets with the fucking people which I belong. I'm the voice for the people. I'm the voice for Southie, and I represent us to the fullest, and I'll go head-to-head -head on with anybody on YouTube about that. Southie's our hometown, yuppies. Anyways, Conor McGregor is going to, his, his last and final fight in the UFC is going to be against Nick Diaz in Dublin, Ireland. And they're talking about in the football stadium. I, what's it called? I, I, I'm sorry, uh, Dublin. I love you. I'm from South, the Irish. Uh, Connor was... Connor, <laughs> Connor came right down this street right here. And his black, notorious Rolls Royce. Him and his wife. Right there. Rolled right by right by here. St. Paddy's Day. That's how gangster South he is, boy. You said people just don't know. Anywho. Nick Diaz. That's a that's a it ain't Nate. Nate Diaz is fighting Chamayev. Hazma Chamayev. In UFC 280 or 281. The next one. The next pay-per-view. Jake Paul's a pussy. I mean. I give him his respect. But he hasn't beaten nobody. I'm sorry. Jake Paul fans. Ben Askren took a dive. Simple and plain. Go to this YouTube channel, Jimmy Pool. You'll see a police badge. He, he's a truther, and he, he has a video about that. All of Jake Paul's boxing matches and events uh, ran by a movie production company, which means... All of his fights are scripted, believe it or not. Allegedly. I don't want to be sued. Allegedly. Jake Paul's fights are scripted. Every, If you notice, every fucking time he's going to fight a real boxer, Haseen Rockman Jr., that sparring footage was crazy. Dude, Jake, you ran, bro. You fucking ran in the ring. You're a fucking sad dude, bro. You talk all that shit. Anyways, I would love to fight you. He ran. Darren's light, it was light sparring too, bro. Light sparring. And believe it or not, I've been in the fucking ring. More than a little bit. And fought in front of a crowd. I wasn't a professional. It was amateur. More than a little bit. And hopefully I can interview 
one of the toughest people probably in salty history other than my uncle Laurie. I ain't going to say the name until I talk to him. Picture Brock Lesnar with cat reflex, cat reflex, cat reflexes that can actually throw hands and knock a motherfucker out quick. Anyways, Dana White would come in his fucking pants and get a big pink boner to sign this kid. Believe me. Anywho, Nick Diaz versus Conor McGregor. In Dublin, Ireland. Uh, is it Cork Stadium? Is that what it's called? Ireland. Let me know in the comments what your football... In, in Dublin, what the football stadium um, is called. Is it Cork Stadium? I forget. A couple bit... couple fucking pussies just drove by. They don't want no fucking smoke, faggots. Anyways... Pussies. Everybody wants to be a fucking rapper and a gangster. Fuck you. Anyways. I'm going to be doing interviews. I've been down in the dumps. I've been going through a lot of shit. You heard? I'm fucking... I'm fighting. A war right now. For my daughter. I got five years clean yesterday. Thank you. And for those who don't believe me, fuck you. Anywho. Um, I want to start taking this serious, you know. Once I get, uh, I'm trying to, um, like, I'm trying to rent a room so I can do my YouTube streams and, uh, like, Get this shit popping Cause Southie swag is in the motherfucking house Everybody knows it When it comes to personality No one can beat me Or us and For Southie No one can beat us Wherever we go we run the show Fact Anywho um, well, I just had a brain fart Um I'm in the street. I got to, like, watch, you know, fucking weirdos and meth addicts, you know. Anywho. Um, damn, Connor. There's a whole... I told yous. Go back to my videos and watch. And I told yous, 2023, there are going to be whole new world champions in, in, in the UFC. Um, Errol Spence Jr. and uh, Terrence Crawford is temporarily canceled. Yeah, I know. The best fight since fucking Marvin Hagler and Sugar Ray. Marvin Hagler, Tommy Hearns, Sugar Ray, Tommy Hearns is off. So now, Keith Thurman comes into the mix. So Errol's, uh, it's either, uh, most likely it's going to be Terrence Crawford going against Keith one-time Thurman. Or Errol Spence is going to be fighting Keith one-time Thurman. Yeah, don't ask me how I found out. Um, TFEMO, uh, Devin Haney. The undis... What the fuck does this dude keep doing? <laughs> Anywho. Devin Haney, the undisputed welterweight... Cha um, welterweight. Uh, lightweight champion of the world. Uh, is fighting George Cambosos Jr. for the rematch. The guy you beat for the belts. Tiafimo Lopez is waiting in the wings. Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis ain't going to happen, supposedly. 
So now, Ryan Garcia, do I, not for nothing, like people hate on Ryan Garcia. And they say Tank Davis would knock him the fuck out. I beg to differ. It, it, in my opinion, I think Ryan Garcia can outbox Tank Davis for 12 rounds. He has some of the fastest hands I've ever seen in my life. His last knockout, I, no one could see that fucking left hook. It was so fast. So fast. That speed and reach is what's going to beat Javante Tank Davis. Floyd Mayweather stopped that fight because he knows what time it is. Adrian Brona is finished. He pulled out of his fight with five days notice. Five days he pulled out of his fight. Excuse me. My wife got the joint. Anywho. Um, so... I think in my Tiafimo Lopez is going to get the winner of uh, Devin Haney and George Cambosis Jr. Because George Cambosis, that was a great fight, by the way, that first fight, T.O. and George. Uh, George Cambosis Jr. is fucking tough as nails, un, like, but Tio, he's he's my he's one of my uh, favorite fighters right now. I I love Ryan Garcia. Like pe- he's a he's a pretty boy, handsome guy, handsome kid. Gets all the pussy. Fact. He's a fucking model, and he can fucking he's his hands are lightning. They're gas, bro. His hands are gas. I recommend you go to YouTube and look at the shorts and watch in real time that knockout last week and, or two weeks ago. And watch it in slow motion. You'll be like, what the fuck? I didn't even see that. It's so fast. So, I, uh, Ryan Garcia got balls. He wants nothing but big fights. He's a throwback. But prettier. <laughs> um, I'm so happy my wife got that mic for me. But uh, he has one flaw, and that's keeping his fucking chin in the air. Shout out to Showbiz the Adult. Um, some of the best um, podcasting for um, boxing from Chicago. He's funny, and he he's on uh, he's uh, on Team Tyson. Uh, him and Jesse on fire with hard work and dedication. And if I put my mind to it, I'm gonna be just as big as them. You watch, Southie. Boston, Massachusetts. You watch. And I'm going to represent us with dignity and respect. I know I'm in the street with fucking uh, Mr. T's from A-Team's fucking headphones and helicopter. Bunch of weird ass people driving around. But fuck it. It is what it is. Uh, What else? do I got going on uh shout out to my boy Kev the the number one YouTuber when it comes to the Nipsey Hustle murder I'm a moderator on his channel blacks in the greatest it's called his channel's called go subscribe and hit that like button and tell him square off is on his way shout out to audio crack from Inglewood, California. Yay, yay. My man. Supports my channel. Two big ass channels. With a huge following. Who gave me so much love. And respect. 
Shout out to Lady Goddess, Nia, from South Ch from the South Side of Chicago, Illinois. I'm tapped in. Billy Niz is tapped in in Chicago. King Von Silk, he's an expert in the King Von murders. Kanika Jenkins, the drill scene. He's a pretty good rapper too. So, and he's I, he's from the he's from All Block. He's from the O, and that's my man. That's my brother. On phone them. <laughs> Anywho, um, Young Dolph's murder is very close. Dude, this I'm gonna talk about hip hop. I'm gonna stray away from the fighting and talk about hip hop real quick. Hip hop is under attack, but hip hop has fucked up. Dr I, 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 I'm gonna say it. Drill music, drill rap, has ruined, is ruining, rap, hip hop. Bars, punchlines, chorus. Yeah, I'm white with glasses, but I can guarantee you, no one in the hood can talk hip hop with Billy Niz, and if you can. We'll have a, we'll be talking for hours. It happens all the time to me. Believe me, brother. I love my Chicago drillers. You's a crazy, but you sh you's a very respectful, and you know how to talk. And you's a gangsters. You's a when I uh when I did a thing on FBG Ducks murder. I got something wrong, and they came into my comment section and they told me. You know, the, the, I'm someone so, actually, it's FBG, St. Lawrence and 60, 63rd. And how King Vaughn said, I'm not from 63rd. Well, 63rd contacting me, believe it or not, on you, in my comments in YouTube. And uh, they told me what I got wrong, but they, they said they like... I'm not making a mockery out of it. And they say, I keep it gangsta. That's what they said. And uh, and they told me to keep it up and don't quit. I was like, you know what? You got that. I will never make anybody look bad unless you're a fucking rat or a rapist skin a motherfucker. Simple and plain. Um what what the fuck was I just gonna talk about? God damn it. It's so fucking muggy out tonight. Uh oh young Dolph hip hop. Uh dude There's an attack on real dudes like us. They don't like people who can rally the troops and lead a pack of wolves to a slaughter like us. Southie dudes, wherever we go, we take over. We got the G card and we're automatically voted boss. Just happens that way. Bitches love us, the guys hate us, and they want to be us. Anywho... I, um, Bill Belichick gave me these, uh, <laughs> just kidding, um, yeah, uh, Young Thug's going away forever, uh, I never realized how dangerous a man wearing a dress Doing weird shit can be so dangerous. I'm not even lying. There's guy, like, this was said by police. There's men wearing dresses, doing drills, and even killing cops. And they don't even know if it's men or women. <laughs> That's how fucking crazy Atlanta's getting right now. And they're getting... Bombed with Ricos. 
YSL, Young Thug and them. Gone. Gunna's getting out. You'll see Gunna. Oh, oh, you scared the fuck out of me. Jesus Christ, bro. This is my last one, brother. I'm sorry. Um, scared the fuck out of me. Jesus. No, it's okay. Whatever. Um, they get there's so many Ricos coming down in Atlanta. Uh, if anybody knew uh, that rapper Trouble from Duct Tape, there I, um, the DA. I've heard from some people from Atlanta in my comments telling me that Duct Tape and uh, 4 PF. Little baby in them are getting hit with the Rico. A lot of people think Lil Dirk and them is getting hit with the Rico. O Block got hit. Um, Memphis is getting hit. Black Youngster's going to prison forever. Yo Gotti is going to prison forever. Money Bag Yo, Money Bag Ho. Going to prison forever. The amount of people, dude, like, I ain't, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I never would. Um, I'm from Boston, you know, East Coast. Um, we listen to mostly, you know, East Coast music, New York, Phil, you know, here. Um, I liked Dolph. I was a fan of him, but he wasn't my first choice to, you know, if I was in my car. Uh, but the same thing happened with me with Mo3. I'll tell that story. Mo3, they gunned him down. In the middle of the highway like a fucking dog. And I think. That's why the Errol Spence fight. And Terrence Crawford fight might be over. Because. Dallas is getting hit with a Rico. Trap Boy Freddy. Yellow Beezy. Errol Spence Jr. Who was in Mexico. Uh, with Yellow Beezy as Mo3 got murdered. Here's a story for you motherfuckers that no one knows. Errol Spence Jr. and Mo3 lived in the same condo complex. And Mo3 used to bully his ass daily. Taking his lunch money. The world champion. Mo3, um, they said... Errol Spence, his car crash was due to drunk driving. Yeah, he was drunk, but Mo3 was on that ass. He was chasing him with that chopper, and he lost control. That's a fact. Talk to anybody in Dallas, bro. Mo3, almost, he, he had Errol Spence on the plate, son. That's how Errol Spence crashed. Mo3 was chasing him in his car with the heat. He, Mo3 was a stepper, boy. And Errol's allegedly, my opinion, there was a lot of people involved in that death, too, just like Nipsey Hussle. Uh, police. Trap Boy Freddy, Yellow Beezy, um, Rainwater, Mo 3's manager, um, Errol Spence Jr. They all put up money. They put a bag on Young on Mo 3's head. Yeah, in, in like in Memphis, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
My shit is so crack, I can get the Rico. Yeah. Ah, uh, and that's a, it, that's a hundred for real. Al Spence Jr. Mo three was on his ass, boy. A world champion getting bullied. It's fucking crazy, bro. Dude, there was a dude in my uh, hood, right, on 013. He was a black belt, right? Shout out to you, Billy Bryant. And I'm, you know, I've known you for years. Went to elementary, whatever. But you were a, he was a black belt, and he would run from, he would run from everybody. Dudes would chase him. He was a fucking legit black belt. And I never got that. I'm like, what the fuck's the point of getting that black belt if you're not going to fuck people up who are trying to kill, uh, beat your ass, you know? But whatever. It is what it is. Uh, young Thug's gone, bro. Uh, expect a uh, little baby to be gone. 4 p.f. Duct tape. They're a, they, they, uh, you know how they do. They they're a gang, but portray themselves as a record label, whatever. That's the that's where the rap of trouble. He was involved in King Von's murder, along with Twenty One Savage, Lil Durk, and Summer Old Block, who were there. Mo3, King Vaughn. Dude, King Vaughn took over rap in less than a year. He got out of prison, beat three murders. He beat he beat three smacks, bro. Three bodies. Came out, made a, a classic. And here's the thing. Lil Dirk was snitching on King Vaughn, bro. Lil Dirk's working with those peoples. It is, you can argue, say what you want. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm that white dude that's with the shits. Believe that. Anyways, everybody knows it. Lil Dirk, he fucking set up old block, move up in them. That was a dummy mission. Right in downtown Chicago, broad daylight, you're a dummy. And they got those fucking uh, spy uh, spy cop cameras. They got them in New York City. They don't got them in Boston yet. But the spy spy cam cameras uh, has a camera and a um, a device in there that um, wherever there's a gunshot, it can tell you. What kind of gun it was fired from. Where. What street. What perimeter. It, it The shot was fired. And most likely. In New York City. Where they stood, got shot with an AK. They found. they The camera found the dude. At his address. Yeah, huh. yeah, crazy, right? Crazy, bro. I fucking hate this place. The rich get richer, the poor don't get a fucking thing. Yeah. Anywho, uh, I want to give a shout out to my dad, Big Bill, for these headphones. You're the man, dad. You're one of the best. You're my one of my heroes. Mom, I love you. Joey, my brother from another mother. I love you, brother. G go. To Jimmy the Jeweler on Instagram and on Facebook. Get your Rolexes. 
Get your timepieces, your APs, your gold. My man Jimmy the jeweler. Shout out to my boy Eric from the bridge, Millie's Hood. Yeah, he's from Millie's Hood. 1090 Jake lives. D take a left down there. Drive straight for five, ten minutes. Right there. But he's 1090 Jake, boy. <laughs> he's uh, doing his thing, man. Congratulations. I hope uh, all your success multiplies, all the money you make multiplies. I hope that happens for every YouTuber, you know? And all the ones that helped me out. Gave me love when I was a nobody. I only been doing this a year. Well, actually less because I took like two months off. Two and a half months. And I'm almost um, at 100,000 views. Just from doing this. Personality and knowledge. I put my mind to it. I visualized it. I don't like motherfuckers walking behind me, boy. Yeah. Anyways. Fucking bitch. Um, I visualized it. First month, I started a day after my birthday, July 15th. No views. Nothing. August. I had my uh, octagon backdrop for my fights for Square Off TV in association with Southie Swagger Films. Southie Swagger filmed it. Be on the lookout for his video, uh, Southie Swagger rap videos. I don't rap, but I'm going to be filming. Hoping to, hoping to be filming. Uh, shout out to my cousin, the God. Divine. Truth. C. Exact. Peace, God. My first blood cousin, believe it or not. Don't, don't get it fucking twisted, homies. I'm tapped in with the God bodies, the gods and the earths. Peace. And to all, to everybody, I hope everybody uh, gets through this fucking weird, fucked up time. I hope everybody that got um, court cases, who's looking at serious time, I hope you beat that shit, smack that motherfucker. Um, if you're in prison, doing time... Please keep your head up. Never give up. I know it gets rough in there. I've been there. I haven't done a fucking massive amount of years. I'll cut only a couple, but I've been there. I'm from I'm I'm from Old Street, O and Third, O three P in this bitch. You know, come on, man. The feds were watching us as teenagers. We're getting it in, homie. Um, shout out to Rick Marinick, who inspired me to do this, who would always tell us before we left class, just because we were in there, in prison, jail, don't mean we're pieces of shit, we can be anything we want to be, and my fa and shout out to Big Bill, my father always told me, I can be anything I want to be. If I put my mind to it. So. Everybody. You can be anything you want to be. If you put your mind to it. And hard work. And dedication. I love you. I'm Billy Niz with the Square Off TV. And I'm off this bitch. Peace. <laughs>